Briars here, and in today's YouTube video, guess what? It's another unboxing because what else would I do? Like, we're being honest here, I just don't make anything other than unboxing videos at this point. But this guy is super exciting, and you can tell his box is kind of small. He's not a traditional, he's actually an artist resin sculpted by Da Vinci Creations. Now, I got this guy during Vincent's post Briar Fest sale, and then I actually had him painted by Maroon Bell Studios on Instagram. Now, I actually have another horse done by her, which is Venus on Little Fjord Mold, but I'm like literally I can't wait any longer so without any further ado let's crack them open ah! I'm opening the box upside down so oh no not packing peanuts all right so the packing peanuts are just gonna come with me hold on we're just gathering packing peanuts right now ah, isn't it? he's quite a little lad I think he's basically the size of a schlick a little bit bigger though he's in this fabric y'all are gonna be able to see him first just kidding you can't see him yet Oh, but you can see his head. He's like a little Jedi right now. Look at this little Jedi knight that I have. What a little man! Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. The amount of detail on this little lad blown away his socks are so detailed she did so good on him okay we got a new favorite little bean in my herd look at this man's he's so good i'm so glad that i commissioned her because this is stunning okay y'all need a close-up of this hottie so let's get to it all right here is the little man in all of his glory i sent maroon bell studios a reference photo and let me just say that she managed to capture the color on this model perfectly i am obsessed i was looking through draft horse photos and found the reference that i used for this guy and i literally knew as soon as i saw that photo that he had to be him and i'm so glad that i found that photo because look at him <laughs> Sorry. I'm not gonna say sorry that I'm excited because you should never apologize for being excited, right, Palomo? All right, let's go ahead and dive into his details. So first off, we're gonna start out with the face and why I really wanted to commission Maroon Bell Studios is the eyes that she does are literally insanely detailed and gorgeous and they look real. Like, y'all, you can't look at this eyeball and tell me that that doesn't look like it belongs to any real horse. As we work our way this way, you can see that he does does have pinking in his nose, which is so cool. His face is so dark. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oh my goodness. Here's a look at his mane and not gonna lie, he really reminds me of a kid who has like a bowl cut and I stand that because that's perfect for him. <laughs> Look at how detailed this is. Like, the fact that Vincent sculpted this is insane. Like, y'all, I can't even make a horse out of clay. And Vincent made this man. He sculpted him from scratch. That's insane. Y'all, I mean, there are way too many talented people in the model horse hobby. I am blown away right now. Look at that mane. Y'all, look at the muscling. And as we get to the muscling, look at the herring detail that he has in his roan coat color. Look. Look at how pretty that is! It is amazing. He literally looks like he is fur. This is insane. Here's a close up of his little brand, which I think is super fancy. As we work our way down his legs, they do get darker and all four legs have socks. And let me just say, these are literally the most realistic socks I have ever seen on a model horse. They have stunning herring detail. Like, can y'all see that? Look at how cool that is. I'm not a customizer, but I can't imagine how hard it must have been to paint the little feathering above his hooves so perfectly. I have no idea how she managed this. And look at the hooves. Y'all, when I say that I am literally blown away, I mean like, one, how does somebody sculpt this? Two, how does somebody paint this? All right, here's a head on shot of him and he's so chunky and adorable. Here is his other side and he is a solid color so it kind of is the same on both sides. Looking at his face, he looks like a real horse. Look at his little beanies. That's 
that sock right there. That's my favorite sock. It's very fancy. Here's another overview of that herring on this side. And just look at the amount of detail she put in him. Like, look, it gets darker right there. And she's even got like the correct hair growth pattern. And then on his booty, Vincent actually did sculpt for his tail to be kind of on his leg. So here's a nice look at that. Look at how cool that is. One, the sculpt is amazing. And two, the amount of effort that Maroon Bells put into him is insane because look at that. If a company did this, there'd be so much overspray right there. And it's so perfect. I don't normally do a top-down look, but this guy is way too cool to not do one. So here's a top-down look. And then here's a look at his feet and the bottom of his tail. And then also her signature and Vincent's little engraved piece on this guy. Just look at how realistic the inside of his hooves are. What a nice extra touch, y'all. Oh my gosh, because like she didn't have to do that since he stands, but that's so cool. I am going to give y'all a quick size reference just in case y'all don't actually know how big this little bean is. So let's get to it. Here he is compared to a Peter Stone Pebbles draft horse. Now he is a little bit smaller than him, so he is not pebble scale. And here he is next to my main man, Bob! <laughs> He is much closer in size to Bob, so I would say probably Schleich scale. I mean, he is a little bit larger, but I don't know how large Rhenish drafts are in real life, so we're gonna go with that. Bunny can stand over him, so he's quite a little lad. Overall, I'd give this guy a hecking infinity out of 10, y'all. I don't even know how you'd be able to rate this guy. Like, if he did a show, he'd get first. Oh my goodness, he's so beautiful. And I literally could not be happier with this little Bean. Not only did Vincent do an amazing job bringing this sculpt to life, but Maroon Bell Studios also did a fabulous job bringing him to life with his coat color and his eyes and his hooves and all the little details they gave him. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. Okay, hopefully y'all enjoyed your close up of this little bean. Oh my gosh, he's gonna need a name and I honestly have no idea what name to give him, but he is literally insanely detailed, y'all. All right, y'all. So that's actually been the end of today's YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed. And if you did, please go ahead and slap that like button as hard as you possibly can to show this YouTube video and my new little bean a little bit of loaf. Also, if you're feeling exotic, please don't forget to check out my Instagram account, which is at infinity underscore briars. I post on there when I can, but I am super active on there and go on there daily. So if you need to message me, do it through Instagram because I will respond to that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on an upload. And other than that, y'all, I really need to film an updated collection tour, so maybe I will get to that. But I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Bye! I could look like that. I wish somebody would actually dust me for once. Dust you? What do you mean? You're... Oh no. Okay, maybe I should do that. <laughs>